Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brown Doms with another Plants in the City. I've uh, got some more things in bloom. Um, some really weird um, flowering cakeys. I uh, just thought I'd give you guys a little taste of what's going on. It's uh, March 2014. End of March. Mid-March. Somewhere around there. Let's take a look. Alright, so here's the gang. First down up front. Got this cute little Sideria japonica in flower. Um, this Sideria actually has uh, the main plant over here, as you can see. It's not flowering. It's got one side shoot there that's in flower, and uh, another one back around there that you can see the spike from it right there. Very cool. Smells lemony, uh, gorgeous stripes, very pretty flowers, and fragrant, very fragrant. Okay, um, this is my mini fowl. Uh, again, main plant is over here. Uh, never did anything for almost a year. No new leaves, maybe a new root. And then it started growing this keiki. And now the keiki has two flower spikes. Very pretty flowers, stripes with purple. Not all open yet, but still really cool. All right, this guy is uh, just a no ID fowl that my wife brought home from an office I think that she was temping at and it's uh, it's got oh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 buds uh, 2, 3 open already very pretty purple pretty straightforward fowl this one I'm probably gonna uh, gift A because I need space B because I need space Okay, and it's got a really cool big flower spike, so somebody will love it. Um, let's see, what do we have up here? This is a very cool Cattleya. This is the Ariantica um, Spots Excelf. Orange Spots. It's really cool looking. Horrible lighting, sorry. I got it in bud. Um, I wasn't sure whether or not the buds would blast. Some did in the back. Only one flower on that. But the rest all came through and they are looking great. It came like this uh, in a hanging basket. Lots of roots. And I think I got it from a bead of orchids. This one I just got in the mail today. Very cool Maxillaria, the coconut plant, coconut orchid, looks to be in pretty good shape. Some new growth down there, up here as well. It's got nice long strappy leaves, it's very cool. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll do well this season. Another uh, noid fowl that my wife brought home in this really cool um, orchid pot. Let me show you the sides there. It's got like holes in it and stuff. Very neat. As you can see here, uh, one of the leaves had a little problem. So I had to remove a part of it. But it's got another leaf coming in. And two branches of white with, uh, with uh, purple flowers. They look good. This one's probably going to stick around with that leaf being cut. Um, I don't know how well it will gift. <laughs> but that's fine. The flowers are pretty. Okay, on to this tall guy here. Oops. As I walk around my island. Uh, this tall guy here, this is a Phias. Um, it's also, I don't have an ID on it, it's some sort of uh, hybrid. Let's 
got flower spikes. I've had this, this is one of the first ones that I got. It has, let's see, it's got a spike here and two very tall spikes here. Um, it's a terrestrial orchid. This is a mix of uh, mostly orchid bark, perlite, and maybe a little bit of peat moss. Not much at all really though. Um, when I got it, it was just these two here. Uh, and it had a flower spike, which I cut back. And since then, these two ginormous growths came off. Did great this summer, put on a lot of foliage. Wasn't really sure what it was going to do, but looks like it's flying for me again, which is great. And uh, there's already new growth started down here. So, I'm happy about that. This is probably the wackiest orchid I have here. Um, another one of those weird no ID fowls. When my wife brought it to me, uh, you can see at the top, maybe not. Where's the light? Okay. This had a terminal spike here. So the spike came out the very top of the crown um, and then it produced not one but two cakeys. Here's one here at the back and then here's another one down here and of course these two cakeys <laughs> both spiked and have ginormous buds and flowers on them as well. Weird. But cool. The flowers are pretty. So yeah. Um what else? Oh yeah. This guy in the back, this big giant hunker. Uh, this is one of our, um, another recent acquisition, um, what am I trying to say? At any rate, I just thought I'd show this guy off. For some reason I've got a brain fart right now and I can't think. But check this out. This is blooming as well. So that is what these guys look like. Bromeliads, that's the word I've been looking at. That's what these bromeliads look like when they flower. Not very spectacular, but he looks happy. And I just love the, the foliage on this guy. Uh, we've had him for, for a while now. He's doing well. He's probably excited to get back outside. Other than that, uh, grow area, his grow space has grown a little bit. Uh, added another shelf in there, tall shelf, and yeah, oh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys, matter of fact while it's running, this is how I get humidity into this um, little sealed off little grow chamber. If we come around back and see some ducting, I have the whole back end wrapped in this, um, it's like a, it's like bubble wrap but it's got foil on it, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's good insulated against the back there. Um, there's this non sliding part of a sliding door. And yeah, so I pipe in right here with some. This is just heating duct. And come down here. <coughs> and uh, in the back there is uh, that's a computer fan that's sucking air in. And then down here is my. Uh, a five gallon bucket that I fill with water and uh, air pumps in from up there and it comes out here and in the bucket of water I have a five disc uh, ultrasonic mister and it's pretty straightforward to add water to it yeah, this is probably going to spew stuff everywhere but yeah. Oh, there's some, some fog. So yeah, that. Woo. You can see how that produces quite a bit of humidity. No light.
Lights are out. Betty by time. Uh, there's some more noids that are uh, spiking. No flowers yet, but there's like three more in there. And then it comes in a few too. Somewhere. It is. And it blows across. And the fan that circulates the air. So maybe I should do this during the day. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you guys a little little look at how that's done. Um yeah, so got some things in flower, some new plants. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, I got a new camera too, so I'm back. Woohoo!